Hey YouTube, this is TCA Gaming. In this video, I'm going to show you guys some stuff that I bought. Uh, pretty cool error, and then we're going to open up some stuff as well. So I'm going to start off with the PSA cards. I uh, recently picked up a Miracle Energy. This is first edition Neo Destiny. I think I got it for about $200, $250, something like that. I thought it was a pretty decent deal, so I went with it. And it's going to go straight into my collection. Next up, I have a Rocket Zapdos, also Gem Mint 10, first edition. Just another card to add into my collection to upgrade the sets. I'll end up selling the nines that I have, or most likely the nines that I have. Let me point this down just a little bit. Next up, I have a purchase from PokeRev, Pokemon Revolution. So, always buying, sell me your collection. Welcome to the Poke Cave. Pokemon Revolution at Yahoo.com. There's his email, there's his IG, his Facebook, his eBay, and of course his YouTube, which probably everyone who's watching this has already seen PokeRev's channel because he gets more views than I do on his uh, channel now, on his daily videos with like a fourth of the subscribers. And he's going big places with YouTube. You guys know that, especially if you've watched you know, any of his content. Really good guy, really good content. Does very well in his videos, much better quality. But he sold me these three first edition base set blisters. It's got to tilt it right back up again. And uh, I got it for the same price, I believe, that he sold old school old school Pokemon, I think. Uh, 5500 bucks. And <clears throat> honestly, I just thought it was a good deal, so I went with it. You know, blisters are really tough to weigh out. And honestly, this one looks like it has a little bit of a curve to it. I'm thinking that one may have a hollow. I mean, I don't know. He said that he uh, he's never been successful weighing blisters, and neither have I. I've never really tried since I've opened up a... I haven't opened up any blister cases for Watsy since uh, I got a scale, but even still, I mean, I, I don't think it'd be very accurate considering you have the cardboard and the plastic in addition to the pack itself. Any of that could throw off, you know, half a gram. I mean, that's what, 156th of an ounce or something. I mean, it's just crazy how much um, difference, you know, just a little piece of cardboard could make in something like that. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. The old school way of doing it is that you would take a pack and you would uh, look at one side, you know, kind of like, I don't know, okay, let me take this one out. You'd look at one side, and you can kind of see how this, it's thick on this side, like the thickness of the pack itself, it keeps zooming on the wrong thing. And then on this side, it's not as thick. So usually that means there's like some kind of slight warp coming from the holographic inside of it. So this one might actually have a hollow in it, I'm not really sure, but it'd be kind of cool if it did, wouldn't it? But I'm not opening these up. These are just being set back for now. He also threw in two free Steam Siege booster or blister booster packs. Sleeve boosters, I think is what they call these. Uh, the blisters were technically uh, what we have here. Man, I'm going to break my camera. And then these are the sleeve boosters. You can see it's a little different. But they can hang and they're uh, a little bit more durable. Um, here's a Neo Discovery first edition booster pack. I did not buy this one. This is uh, the only one that I believe may not be heavy. Uh, that weighed in at a heavy weight from my Neo Discovery booster box. So we're probably going to open that one up, even though it's got that classic Umbreon cover art there. Maybe we'll pull us a Yanma or an Espeon or Umbreon. Wouldn't that be pretty cool? And then last but not least, before we open this stuff up, I want to show you guys this Beedrill. So a lot of you thought it was fake. It's not a fake card. And if you're wondering why I'm showing this to you, some of you who have watched my Instagram know that it's actually an error. See down there, flip a coin if heads, the D dot defending Pokemon is now poisoned. And from what I can tell in this card, I think it comes from maybe one of the later print runs. It's got good quality on the ink. Or maybe that's one of the earlier ones. I don't even know. But it definitely didn't come from like a 1999-2000 print run. You can see that down there. It doesn't have like any weird gloss to it. Kind of like you see sometimes with the War Turtle era. But, I mean, it's, it's as legit as it comes. There's a card. I mean, you can't just put a dot in there and a space for that dot. So it's not like somebody come over with a marker and did it. It's not a Gem Mint 10, but it might get a 7 just because it's a non-hollow. I'm looking for this in a 10. So if you know anybody with a Beedrill in PSA 10, have them check to see if they have the error version. And if they do, then I'm looking for it. And if I get to 10, you know, I'll gladly trade you this plus some money. But, yeah, it's one of those errors that's kind of flown under the radar. All right, so we're going to open up these Steam Siege booster packs from PokeRev first, and then we'll dig into that Neo Discovery booster pack. Hopefully it's hollow or it's bust. So. 
kind of think. Houndor is pretty, uh, pretty stout in that set too. It's got like, I think it's like top 21 or something. Uh oh, somebody got him a Steam Siege code. Let's see what we have here. Fletchling, Launcher, Apom, Yana, Sneasel. Got a Howlucha. Do what? Got the Reverse Hollow Avalug, Steelix Spirit Link, and ooh, we did get us a Hollow. Check that out, Infernape. Got the Fire and the Ice. Sound like an icy hot. All right, pack number two. I'm gonna tilt this down just a little bit. At least I think I did. Check it out, another code. Gone. Let's see if we can get another hollow. We got Clink, Mantine, Shellos, Meryl, Drifloon. Got the reverse hollow Greedy Dice. Nidorino, Zuelis, Monferno, and something already revealed. A non hollow Proto Pass. So nothing really cool there. Now let's get on to the main event. We've got this first edition Neo Discovery pack that hopefully is heavy hollow. Heavy hollow. We have uh, opened up a box myself. And there were 12 packs that weighed a decent more than the other ones, but Neo sets are a little bit harder to to open up. This is the lightest by about a tenth of a gram. So let's see what we have. Snip it across the top. I'm not sure where the hollow is supposed to be. I'm going to see if I see a card that looks a little different. Really, that back card looks different. It's a little bit lighter. You guys can see that. So maybe we'll just set that one off to the side. And I uh, hope I didn't... Uh, just ruin it. So we have Spinnerack, Pineco, Mareep, Tyrogue, Kabuto, Weedle, Caterpie. Yeah, that's uncommon. It's unknown in Poliwhirl and unknown D. So it looks like we guessed the right card for which one should be a hollow if it is. So it's at least going to be the rare. All right, let's look at the back side. Looks like it's got something right there, but I can't tell. I think it may have just been the way the angle's hitting it of the light or the camera. Backside looks pretty good. Wabafet. Definitely not the best pull. But still pretty cool. Man, look, I don't see any print lines on it. Makes me want to consider opening up the other packs because I think it'd be pretty obvious. Wow, look at that hollow. Gosh, because you pull the yam, it pays for the whole box. Man, that looks really good. The centering isn't bad either on the front. That was a little bit off on the back. You can kind of tell. A little fatter over here, but man, on this front side, it looks pretty darn good. Maybe shifted up a little bit, but not enough to keep it from a 10, that's for sure. And that hollow looks really clean. Well, Neo Discovery hollows generally have those pretty thick print lines coming through there, but and being in the back, you know, that could I didn't realize Neo Discovery had hollows as the last card. So that, that could be a little dangerous when you're buying used packs, but every single pack that I have, I actually open from the box and immediately put into a card saver just like this. I do have 11 of those left, but or I should have 11. I may have sold a few. Should be 11. But thanks for uh, watching the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm going to put a lot of stuff back in my collection and uh, just watch it grow. Thanks.